All right, guys, come on in. Welcome back, singers. Welcome back. As you come in, say hello and like the video. Come in, say hello and like. I'm not going to be here long. Um, I've been doing astrology all day and working on my new book. And since I am now a part of the struggle-free <laughs> lifestyle, um, I'm going to tone it down because I go to bed early now and, uh, I got to wash my hair. I come on in, I got to wash my hair and all that good stuff. So we only have a little bit of time. Come in, come in. Hello. How are you guys? It's so nice to have um, you know, a couple months away and have all these little revelations and actually implement them into your life and make changes. I'm the type of person that if I read a book, I take the information and I actually use it. I don't just read things just to be entertained. You know, I'm not just sitting there like, ah, oh, this is fun. No, 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 no. I actually take things and I actually make sure something happens with them. And so all of the little habits that were necessary that I picked up while I was away out of the country, eating early, going to bed early, waking up early, and uh, getting rid of the whole grind mentality, but doing enough, you know, inner work. I do more inner work than I do work with anything else. Everything is here first. And that opens the door for all the other things. Hi. Good guys. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. We're going to talk about a comment that was left under my videos that I wanted to kind of break down. While you're here, can you guys hear me? My computer fan came on. I don't know how loud it is or whatever. And I don't have my pro mics on right now. So I'm kind of projecting to you. Um, let me see. Good, good, good. Perfect. So I see 20 people in and eight likes. Should be equal. So I'm going to do a video um, soon. <laughs> um, there's a lot of people talking about Scorpios uh, this month. We, we're just on everyone's minds, honey, all the time, all the time, just on their minds. So listen, guys. So I got a comment under my video that I did a while ago called, why does Venus, Venus and Scorpio do this? This is so confusing because somebody asked a question. People always have questions about Venus and Scorpio, Scorpio rise and Scorpio, whatever, whatever it is, it's all Scorpio energy anyway. I don't have a uh, Venus in Scorpio. I'm a late degree Venus in Virgo in the eighth house. <laughs> um, if you study, you know what that means. So, however, I have uh, had relationships with Venus and Scorpio men um, because Venus and Scorpio men are looking for the energy of a, of a Scorpio woman, period. That's for men that Venus is what the qualities that they are extremely attracted to in women. That's what they want. <laughs> and so someone, someone asked a couple of days ago, and if you're here, listen carefully. Why do you, <laughs> I guess referring to me, but I, I, I don't have a Venus in Scorpio. So they said, why do you Scorpio Venus people uh, are so afraid that you're unloved? I've never met a single one who is not loved. Everyone, literally everyone wants to be with a person with this pl placement. 
They're like magnets to people, but deep inside, he thinks that he is not loved, but I don't get it. And then there's crying face and question mark face and sad face and all this sort of things. So right off the bat for me, it's interesting how someone from the outer skirts is trying to tell anyone with Scorpio energy how we feel and what it is for us. <laughs> okay. And so let's start with the first part. Why are they, why are Venus, Scorpio, Venus people so afraid that they are unloved? And I'm going to take this on, even though I'm not a Venus and Scorpio, I am a um, Sun, Moon, Stellium Scorpio. And since we're talking about Scorpio energy, then I can just cover the spaces. And so I don't, I don't know where other people, and this is not the first time that I've heard this question, where they get, we're so afraid that they're unloved. And so first of all, we have to go back to what it means to be loved for an individual. Because what my definition, and we talked about this when we talk about loyalty, what my de definition of being loved is may be quite different than your definition. And for those of you who are not Scorpio, I, I mean, I could say this till my tongue falls out of my mouth, that you don't understand the type of, of relationship that is necessary, that it requires to be with us. And so I don't know who this person is. They can be a Libra and be like, oh my gosh, I love him so much. And whatever you're talking about, your definition, Libra's definition of love is so far from Scorpio's definition um, uh, of, of what love and intimacy means. So far from it. Um, in addition to other Zodiac signs as well. And so what the kind of little show they're putting on that they embody as love we're like what the hell is that i don't i'm not interested in that like that's not what i want <laughs> no thank you and so you always have to look at and i'm not talking about like love language here like oh my gosh like my love language is quality time like no it's like you know if i've done your chart i i've explained to you the components when we got into the relationship part, because in my master chart reading, I break everything down. I break it from love to relationship to career. We talk about your karmic masters. We talk about your challenges, your superpowers and all that stuff. So when I, when I get to the, to the love part, I explain to you specifically for you what it is you need to feel loved and to feel like you are understood by an individual and what satisfies you in a relationship. And most of the time, many other Zodiac signs, they, they, they come in with all this other stuff and it's not what we want. It's just not what we want. It's not fulfilling. <laughs> it's like eating an empty uh, plate of food with like no calories. It's not fulfilling. It's like, that's not like, it's not doing anything for me. <laughs> you know, and they could swear that they're like, oh my gosh, I do this and I, it's like, you're not fulfilling for me. Okay. And so I don't, I don't know where the word fear comes in. It's not that, and maybe some of them do, but it's not that it, there's a fear of being unloved. It's being dissatisfied with whatever's being given. It's being dissatisfied. It's, it's literally an empty plate of food. It's empty. It's not what I require. And many of you can go through your past relationships when you felt so empty and you had to go to somebody else to get what you want. Do you remember things like this? And I know, and in my book, Dating Scorpio, I talk about when I had a relationship with a, with a, a, um, a same birthday guy but he was so fluffy. He had the, the, the Libra moon. He had the Libra rising. He had the, everything was a damn Libra. And even though he still had the Scorpio qualities, 
his necessities and the way he responded to love and affection was that was in the Libra realm. And for me, I rejected every single part of it. There was not one ounce of it that I wanted. It was so, I think for, I think in my whole entire life out of any thing that I've ever, anyone that I've ever dealt with <laughs> in my life, that was the most dissatisfying energy that I've ever felt was that was the Libra energy that at that close range, at that close range. It was so disgusting and disgusting is like it, what I mean by that. It just rep, it repulsed me in a way that I've never felt before <laughs> my whole entire life. It was so dissatisfying. It was like not even close to anything, like remotely close to anything. It was. I can't even describe what it what it was. <laughs> but um it was it was I didn't feel like I could ever be close to that person. I like I never loved them. I never could love them. Never. And they asked me and I was like <laughs> like there's there was no space for that. They couldn't they couldn't fill the plate up. Okay? And so when this individual says, I've never met a single Venus and Scorpio who was, who was never loved, you can't determine that as an outsider. You can't say that a ton of people love this individual like, like they're supposed to accept the empty plate that you're giving. And so, for instance, that individual that I had a relationship with, with all, with all this Libra energy, maybe they felt like they were loving me. And on my end, in the manner that they, whatever they considered love was not satisfying to me. And so there wasn't any love on my end. I don't know what they were, what they were doing, but there wasn't any love on my end of, of the spectrum. And so to say that I've never met one who's never been loved. Well, I'm sure that's not how they feel, okay? Because their requirements are different than what you what your empty plate is, okay, guys? And for those of you, this is really important for those of you who are not a Scorpio because I, I read these comments, you know, sporadically and they're like, oh my gosh, I loved him so much. I did so much for him. I'm like, you did what? You know what I mean? Like, what did you do? Was it receptive? Was it Was it to their satisfaction? Do you know what I mean? It's like, it, it, it's, it's like, <laughs> you know, the, the, the way in which they need to be loved, you don't, you can't supply it. You don't have it within you to do that. You don't have it within you. Some of you don't have it within you to be an attentive person. You could sit there and just be like, oh my gosh, I heard what he said, but like, it's not, you can't receive it in the way that they need you to receive it. Some of you just don't have it in you. Some of you are just not compatible with the Scorpio energy. And I don't know why it's so challenging for you to just get that. Like I knew right off the bat that I'm not compatible intimately with the Libra energy. It's nothing to talk about. I'm not fighting against it. Like, oh my gosh, why can't they, why can't they understand my love? Like, no, it's, it takes one second. I'm like, ill. And, um, and that's the end. <laughs> that's the, pretty much the end. Here's another sentence that is uh, <laughs> interesting. Everyone, literally everyone wants to be with a person with this placement. I don't know that that's true. Um, I, I've i never met anyone thus far that said, I really want a Venus and Scorpio man. Unless, 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 unless they were deeply studying astrology and they were Scorpio. So they understood that like, okay, well, if I have Venus and Scorpio man, he's going to be attracted to my Scorpio-ism. I usually meet people of other signs saying, I want to be this Scorpio man, like if they're a woman. And I'm always perplexed by that because I'm like, well, if you study astrology, you know that a man with Venus and Scorpio is really looking for a Scorpio. Like he's not looking for you. So it's like, it doesn't make sense when I, if I made a Gemini, she's like, I want to be this Scorpio man. I'm like, why? He's not looking for Gemini. Like literally your energy is not what's going to turn him on. He'll date you, 
he'll sleep with you, maybe play around for a minute until he gets the Scorpio woman. You know what I mean? Like it, it doesn't make any sense to me. Now, if I said it, I have so much Scorpio um, and uh, I have so much Scorpio, strong Scorpio energy in my chart and my most um, aspected planets are Pluto, Mars um, and Uranus, actually Pluto, Mars and Uranus. But my rulers of my uh, um, sun sign is actually the most aspected. So I have i have not only a strong Scorpio energy, but I'm strong with with the planet with the planets as well and so someone with a venus and scorpio a man with a venus and scorpio is going to be highly attracted to me like highly attracted to me kind of like a russell wilson and sierra situation like he's a venus and scorpio conjunct pluto and so people are asking like why does he want her i'm like are you kidding me <laughs> like are you joking like those are the qualities that like get him going. Okay. And so I don't know that everyone wants to be with this placement. Some people are too light for it, too lighthearted for it. Some people are too air mutable for it. Some people um, may feel drowned by it. Some people may feel like it's too intense. I've met Gemini's who said, that, oh, that's too intense for me. I'm lighthearted. I just want to have fun all the time. I need somebody who's who can make me laugh and this and that and the other, and it's too much. So I don't really know people who want to be with that placement, you know, especially if they're not Scorpio or Scorpio dominant, because that guy is not going to be <laughs> like, you're not his first choice. Trust me. Okay. And um, I also don't know if they're really magnets to people. It can be, you know, it can be, it can go one way or another with, with that, you know, with that placement. Um, also, we don't know what else is going on in the chart. You know, somebody could have a Venus and Scorpio and just be dominant in Sag or dominant in Virgo. And, um, you know, maybe they, maybe they're not truly that magnet, you know, that magnetic when it comes to that. You know what I mean? Um, Maybe that's the only Scorpio energy they have and everything else is, you know, more prominent. So you don't really know that. You don't really know that. And then and then and then she switches and says, but deep, deep inside, he thinks. So she's really writing a question about a guy, but she kind of makes it try and sound general. Why do you guys do this? But deep inside, he thinks he's not loved. I don't get it. It's not that he doesn't think he's loved. It's just you're not, you're giving him an empty plate, okay? You're not, he's not receiving whatever, whatever you have is not good enough for him. It's not what, what he requires in order to feel what he considers love. And you can sit there and fight three and four years. Some of you are just not even equipped with the qualities to do that. I'm going to give you an example. I'm not a playful person. I'm not a silly person. I'm not. In fact, growing up, the people that I despised the most were the class clowns. I couldn't stand them. I could not stand these people. Um, I, I, I hate the jokester. I don't like pranks. I don't like surprises. I'm not silly. I'm not playful. That is That has never been my personality in my life, and it, it's never going to be. I'm not... I'm not made to be that type of individual, period. And so me trying to pair with, you know, this lighthearted Leo moon, Gemini energy, it's, it doesn't work out. It doesn't work. I don't even have just my makeup. I don't have what is equipped to fulfill their little fantasies or to turn them on to, or to get them like, Oh my gosh, I like her so much. Like it, 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 there's no, no part of me in here that is going to become the buffoon or the, the, or the clown or the jokester or the person who's trying to make everyone laugh. That's, I don't have that. I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't want it. It's never going to happen. Many of you guys aren't equipped with any of the qualities 
that can fulfill a Venus and Scorpio person. You're not. You're not going to have it. You're not. I don't care what, what, you know, books you read on Scorpios. I don't care what videos you watch. You are not that person. And pretending to be someone else or trying to be someone else, you know what I mean? It's not going to happen. You know, it's kind of like, um, the, the Libra infused Scorpio guy, you know, around me, he was, he became a little bit more introverted and quiet. And I knew that wasn't his personality. I knew it wasn't. I knew it wasn't. It's was all his friends were like, oh my gosh, you, you act different around her. You know what I'm saying? Like, go be with, go be with the funny people. Go be with the silly people. Go be with the people that you can, can uh, act flaky with. Like me, it's not going to work out. You know what I'm saying, guys? So this sounds like an individual who's not equipped at all. At all. Maybe they thought he was sexy, like, oh, he's a little mysterious, and blah, 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 blah. And that was that temporary turn on that pe a lot of people have. Some people are turned on by Scorpio energy because they want, they, 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 maybe they think they're the one who could break us down. I've had so many people try and do that with me and it never worked. <laughs> they spent years trying to be that person, not even realizing they don't have the qualities. Like they just don't have the qualities to do it naturally. And so I wouldn't even waste my time. I don't, I don't want to prove um, to anyone that they are loved and this. No, I'm not doing that. You know, if, my, if my, the plate I'm giving you is empty, honey, you go to a different restaurant. And that's just simple as that. Simple as that, guys. <sighs> a lot of you just waste your time. And, you know, I, I can't even say enough why you do it. It chips away at your self-esteem to bend over backwards, trying to fill a plate that you can, you literally cannot fill. You can't do it. Not with who you are. Not with who you are. And so there are many people that you're compatible with that you're ignoring. And it's best to close that Venus and Scorpio fantasy. <laughs> Okay, because if you don't have a lot of Scorpio energy or you're not a Scorpio, they're not checking for you anyway, honey. They're not. Maybe you're a water sign and they can get a temporary fix, but Pisces and Cancer are nothing like a Scorpio. Like you can't even compare us. Like literally, nobody could say, oh, you're similar. Like no way. No way. No way, guys. So I just wanted to talk about that. And, you know, that bleeds into a lot of things. It bleeds into, um, you know, having self-awareness, knowing who you are, knowing that you're not that girl or you're not that guy. I know I'm not this class clown or the silly one. I can stand those people. And interesting enough, those were the men who always, well, boys, grown up boys, who always tried to date me. I was like, are you kidding me? I'm so disgusted. So disgusted by them. Or any 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 of the people like that, the popular people, couldn't stand none of that shit. Couldn't stand it. Couldn't stand it. And so um, that's what it is, guys. That's what it is. Know who you are and know your own personality and start to like it. We talk about that a lot. Learn to accept who you are. You know, people are always like, lighten up, have some fun, you know, and that meant to, you know, act stupid and silly and be loud and allow anyone to overstep boundaries. Nope, that's not, that's not what I do. It's not what I do. Do you ever just let loose? You ever hear people say that? I'm like, what does let loose? <laughs> like, you know, what does let loose mean? 
act stupid? No, because I'm not. But enjoy. <laughs> enjoy. <sighs> All right, guys. Um, I have personal live stream sessions that are open, but you guys know that they go fairly quickly because I have people who uh, consistently have a weekly thing going on. Um, master chart readings, the new dates are up. And if I have a tarot card reading called Secrets Exposed, so if you want to send a text message or a photograph, we can break that all the way down. Everything in my shop that is on sale is an additional 40% off um, by using the code spring sale. And what else? I think there are, there's like a waiting list for some things like the journals. Those are gone, honey, long gone. <laughs> um, and I think some of the Scorpio season teas, a lot of the sizes are gone. There may be a few left. I think there's, I think there's a few good sizes left. Um, not many. And um, you can get all my paperback books. The only one that is only in audio is my new book, uh, Nobody Can Hurt Me, um, my book of affirmations, which I religiously do every single morning and every single night, guys. It's really important that you get rid of your old selves. I mean, you know what? So many of you guys that I have, live stream sessions with, that I do your chart readings with. We talk about this a lot. We talk about getting rid of your old self. Pluto is the slowest moving planet. Um, it takes about 240 years um, for it to come full circle. We've had the only Pluto return we're ever going to see in, in the physical life. And my Pluto has been transiting my first house, which is a house of um, self, um, not just physical self, but, you know, um, self evolution. Right. And so, um, I'm really excited about that because I've had a lot, a lot of breakdown and rebuild and you guys need to understand that your current self is not working for what you want. So you can try and dodge it and get around it. You know what I'm saying? You can try and dodge it, but the, the person you are now cannot occupy the space of who you want to be. Um, you know, a person who wants to be a superstar cannot be a star in the insecure um, or whatever other issues that they have now. It's not going to work for the life that a star needs to uphold. You, you understand, guys? A, a pro professional athlete... Um, if someone who wants to be a professional athlete cannot flourish in someone right now who's lazy, obese, has no self-control, has no discipline, the life that they want, they have to get rid of the person who they are right now. You have to become who you want to be. I have to become the person that you see right now. Whoever I was 10 years ago is long gone, honey, done, done and gone, broken down and made space for who I am right now. You know, five years from now, we're breaking stuff down so that we can become who we need to be at, at that point, guys. It, right now, a lot of you want so many things. You want relationships, you want money, you want this, you want that. And the who you are right now there's no space. Who you are right now is not the person who feels good enough to attain these things. Like you have to literally, and this is what I say, break down and rebuild. You have to break, you have to get rid of that person. You got to kill the old self. You can't have two people in one body occupying the same space. Somebody's confident and somebody feels like a loser. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Hey, <laughs> welcome in. It's not going to work, guys. Some of you want so many things. You're like, oh, my gosh, I want to be married. And Well, your mindset right now is not marriage minded. 
your your financial situation sure as hell ain't marriage minded. Your beliefs aren't marriage minded. That shit's got to go. You got to make room for that other person who is. You got to become that individual. Okay. You got to become anybody you see who's successful and considered successful and whatever they are, whether they're some superstar or some pop star or some millionaire, they had to become that. Their mind wasn't always there. They wasn't ready. They weren't ready for that life yet. Why can't I get this guy? You're not ready for a relationship right now. A lot of you aren't even ready. You're not ready to be with somebody else. You're, you're so messed up. And what I mean messed up is that you're still carrying trauma from your past. You're still blaming your parents from when you were five years old. You still hate yourself from some shit you did when you were 15. That whole person that you are right now with all that messed up trauma, like, I don't understand how you think that somebody else wants to deal with that. Like, are you kidding me? And you want them to like do what? Hug you and tell you life is okay? Like that's not their job. You, you're you looking for a babysitter. Why can't I attract anybody? Well, you're not attractive. <laughs> that's why you're like, you're not attractive. That's why you're not, literally not, your energy is not attractive. You, you got a chip on your shoulder. You're still, you know, self-deprecating. Who the hell wants to be in that energy? You guys ever think about that? You ever write down what is attractive about you? What's attractive? And I'm not talking about physical. Leave physical out of it. Genetics are genetics. You, how you look is how you look. Okay? But what makes you attractive to people? You know? It sure ain't somebody who's always talking about their father beat them when they were six. Ew, who wants to hear that? Oh, gosh. I asked somebody how they were doing the other day. They were like, oh, I don't know. It's up and down. I was like, <laughs> I was like, well, I'm doing really, really fabulous. You know, I'm working on my fifth book. I'm working on my documentary. I was like, oh, my gosh, let me hurry up and get up out of here. They were a, a wet rag. And a lot of you walking around, you're a wet rag. And you're hoping somebody loves you. Why doesn't he love me? And you don't even have uh, have lovable qualities. You don't even have lovable qualities, guys. And you gotta and you gotta you gotta build those qualities. You can't buy them in the store. You gotta build that. You gotta build the self love. You gotta build the charm. You gotta build. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, that stuff needs to be built. And who you are right now is not in concert with that personality that you want that's going to attract that person. You don't have the qualities. Like this person in the, in the message doesn't have the qualities to make a Venus and Scorpio feel loved. They don't have it. You don't have it, guys. Period. You got you got a, that old, you know what? And this is something I learned if you read my books, you already know. Because I talk about this deeply. It's challenging to get rid of that old self. It really is. And you're gonna cling to that person. I don't care if your old self was a trick, a drug addict, if you've did, you know, you've done the worst things in the world and you can't look in the mirror, you would think like, oh my gosh, I'm ready to get rid of them. No, 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 no. That person has got you through so many things. Think about your whole life of even with low self-esteem, even with self-hate, you've gotten yourself through so you I mean. Oof. <laughs> You've crossed so many mountains in that body of the person who was self-hating, of the person people made fun of, of the person, you know, whatever. And to 
rid yourself of them is is really deeply challenging. It is because you're gonna miss you're gonna miss that person even even the person even though you don't like them even though you don't like them you're attached to not only them but all of the things that came along with them of being that person. You're attached to all of the things that can, that's why it's hard for people to lose weight. That's why it's hard for people to stop doing drugs. It's not just the drugs, it's the environment. It's the whole, it's the reason why they do everything is difficult to get rid of, but you can do it. It's necessary because you can't be who you want to be in that body, in that mind of that, who you are right now. You're literally blocking yourself from getting what you want. Why am I married? I'm 58. You're unmarriageable. <laughs> That's why. Who wants to live with you? Who? Who? When you're walking around with OCD and all these problems and shit, like who? Think. Think. Who wants to? Who wants that problem? Who wants to take on a whole big old adult who's got? You know, a drug problem, a lying problem, a stealing problem. Who wants to do that? No one. No one that I know. Who wants to be with a miserable person? No one that I know. Who wants to be with a self-hating person? No one that I know. You don't think of it in this way, but I do. I'm like, who wants to be around this individual? I remember back in college, my freshman year, I was 17 years old. And I had a cancer so-called friend. And of course, I'm extremely introverted, but I did go to, I went to a couple of parties and things like that, right? But I remember there was like some big party and she didn't invite me to it. She didn't invite me at all. <laughs> and I wasn't like sad, but I was like, oh, really darling? And... It was because I was miserable. Like, who wanted, like, bring me to a party for what? So that I could stand in the corner? You know what I'm saying? Like, it just made sense. It made sense now looking back at it. <laughs> it's like, well, had I gone to the party, what would I have been doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like literally, like, who? Okay, don't invite her. <laughs> it was a good decision. <laughs> Some of you are not invited. You're not invited to be married. You're not invited to... Because you're because you're um you're a wet rag, you're a burden, and it's your job to get out the broom and clean that shit up. Little by little, okay. Little by little, and it is possible. I know because I've done it. I've been over all the little hurdles you're talking about. Three years in, and you're still doing the same shit, and you're just like, what the hell's going on? It's uh, three years ago. Why am I still making the same money? Why am I? Why don't I still like myself? Why am I not getting the friends that I want? Why? Yep, I've been there. I've been in and out of the rabbit hole so many times, honey. So I, I can speak on it. But it's necessary. And Pluto is your best friend. Nobody said Pluto was easy. because Pluto destroys and breaks you down and causes chaos. Pluto is chaos and death. And that's what you got to do. And a lot of you are making excuses, and I don't want to hear it. I don't. Don't send me no emails. Why? After five years, you don't like me. Well, you don't like you either, so join the club. There you go. There you go. And if you think it's difficult for you, think about the person who got to deal with your mess sitting up in the house. Oh, I can't imagine coming home to somebody with their lips poked out and they got an attitude. And they're like, do I look okay? And I'm like, no, you look terrible. You've been sitting in the house all day. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, I don't like you. Get out. Imagine how it is for other people. You don't like what you see. Oh, my goodness. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine people look got to look at you all day. Goodness. What a job it is for them. Come on. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm getting out of here excited to wash my hair. <laughs> and I have a cute ritual. I wash my hair and I put in my conditioner. But while my, um, my conditioner is in, 
I watch I watch New York Undercover, which is a great show for my generation. And um, looking back, going back to watch it, it is amazing show. Great writing, amazing cast that is right here from New York. And the music, I mean, some of the best musicians, R&B musicians came up on that show. I mean, like they did, they did music proper. They did amazing storylines. Like the script was good. So that's what I do until the hair is um, twisted. We have her twisted. And then it's off to bed. Affirmations and off to bed, guys. That's what we're doing in my beautiful, serene life. And who I am now, you know, people are so lucky to meet me now and not have met me 10, 12, 15, 20 years ago. They're lucky to get this version of me. Very lucky to get this version of me. And I always say to myself, like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy I'm in a relationship with you. Like, you're fabulous. You know what I mean? As opposed to like my younger self, which was like, ooh, I don't even want to be friends with, I didn't even want to be friends with me. So, you know, you want to get to the point where like, you're like, oh my gosh, like, I'm so likable. I'm so lovable. I'm so marriageable. I'm so this, I'm, like everybody wants to be around me. You know what I mean? Like you, like you, you notice that you get it now. All right, guys. All right, let me see what you're saying and let me get out of here. I hope everyone is behaving themselves. And I hope I answered that Venus question. Because Venus for men, Venus and Scorpio, they looking for Scorpios, really. It doesn't mean they have to date and marry Scorpios. They usually settle for something else. But like, I'm telling you, those are the qualities. And for women, you know it's your Mars. You know. Um, Miss Cupcake, I'm not even going to comment. Is that second, second sentence? You already know. You already know, honey. You already know. Non-committed. Non-committed don't get no sex. <laughs> don't get no sex for me, but do you? Um. All right, guys, you're behaving. Thank you. I appreciate it. Some people get into these comments and don't know how to act. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. You got to grieve your old self. That is true. You got to get, get that funeral, whatever you need to do. I do a, I do a quick uh, um, cremation, honey. We don't do no funeral or nothing. Everybody go in the oven and that's it. Burn, scatter, and all that. Wipe the dust off. That's what we do. And that's it. Grief is real. I am going to be saving this live. You can rewatch it. And um, like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Um, Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon .com. That's where you can go for all my books. And if you're in, it actually doesn't matter where you are, you can order my books because I have a big distributor and you should be able to walk into any of your bookstores and just say, I want Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon books. And they'll look it up. And, and um, the only way they won't be able to get it is if they have no contact with my distributor, but it's one of the biggest for um, spiritual you know, books. So you can get my paperbacks uh, anywhere. If you get the audio version, the audio version does have an extended, so it does have more at the end. And I check my stats, and most of you have been buying the audio version. Um, so while you're in your bubble bath, drinking your champagne, or getting a massage or whatever, you can just listen and um, hear me go through the stories and explain everything. So you can um, also watch my exclusive videos. I've crashed courses for you guys who have like simple questions 
Um, how do I do this? How do I do that? I'm sure I have a crash course that can easily explain it. I have a love spell for those who are in uh, mutual situations. Hopefully you're not putting a spell on somebody who is not good for you. That is not a good thing. And uh, I think that's it, guys. All right, I'm going to wash my hair. You can re-watch re this. Um, do I have merch? Ooh, I hate that word. I have a beautiful shop with amazing, um, most of my jewelry is custom. The majority of it is sterling silver. Some is uh, gold over sterling. And um, I have, what else on my shop? I do have some tees. They're all custom tees. And um, I wouldn't call it merch. I would call it <laughs> apparel <laughs> and uh, jewelry. So you can go to scorpionsunscorpionwoman.com and take a look um, at all the uh, amazing stuff that I have. If it's on sale, remember it's for additional 40% off. Use the code um, spring sale. Um, all right, guys, I'm out of here. Good night. <laughs>